just got really scammed at the border of Liberia entering into Sierra Leone by the Sierra Leone officials and not a good welcoming into Sierra Leone. Starting in Monrovia, Liberia, and we drove all the way through and, and today was maybe the most intense, hectic, anxious travel day I've ever had. Yeah. One of the most. So we're just going to give you a quick recap of what happened because we think that this story needs to be told and we want you guys to know, first of all, what it's like to, to travel in West Africa overland with your own vehicle and also some of the problems that, that are dealing in this part of the world um, which need to be discussed in a public. The building manner. was probably like 50 years old, quite like run down. Yeah. We get there, they check our visas first, two guys look in the... <laughs> or we had like Every letters detail. of invitation, so where the visas on arrival yeah. essentially. Everything was paid for, it was an actual visa, we could get in like 30 no minutes of talking yes. to the guys. And we thought that that was the only hurdle yeah. that we had to cross. That's it, normally right guys? You go through immigration, yeah. that's it. No. We just got really scammed at the border of Liberia entering into Sierra Leone by the Sierra Leone officials and not a good welcoming. Go to the next little room and there's a guy that can't be older than me, he's probably 25 years old, sitting at the, just have that little like cocky face on, like hey, give me your yellow card fever. So okay, no problem, here's our yellow card. Everywhere in Africa that we've been, which is almost every country, you just show the yellow card and they usually just check, check the date, done, move on. This guy checks it, he goes, this is not acceptable, you don't have a cholera shot. And first of all, I don't even think a cholera shot, I've never heard of people I think cholera was eradicated. Yeah. <laughs> We're connected to every single traveler who does this for a living and no one has ever said that you need a cholera shot or anything like that. Obviously we knew he was he, We knew he was like, from the beginning. So we looked at each other and said, no, we, no. We, this is all we need, yeah. we can get it to the country. Essentially the only thing, the only vaccine you need to travel into these countries is the yellow fever. Yeah. And we had that shot. We had it. It was clearly stated, everything yeah. was perfect. He just invented this yeah, new yeah. vaccine. It's theatrics. Yeah. Everything was already staged, they've done it before, yep. and they'll probably do it again. Yeah. But this doing. bribery problem specifically is in many African countries, specifically West Africa, and it's, in my opinion, it's, it's one of the reasons why this, this part of the world is not progressing. So I also want to say something that this is not a problem with Sierra Leone. I don't necessarily hate the country of Sierra Leone. If you guys remember the video from a few days ago where we got scammed at the border of Liberia and Sierra Leone, I just got an amazing email from someone at the government. I'll read it really quickly. Dear Mr. Binsky, we are the anti-corruption commissioner of Sierra Leone and have watched with great dismay the video shared on social media where you claim to have been scammed by some health workers along the Liberia-Sierra Leone border. We've taken action based on the video and would like to invite you to the commission to make a formal statement to the claims. Please feel free to contact me on this number or notify us through Medium as to when you can make yourself available for questioning statement giving. Yours sincerely. So I'm very, very happy to see this so it can possibly be a change. This is really good because the reason we made this video is to raise awareness about what's happening exactly. and the best case scenario happened the government saw it and they're gonna try and the next travelers that are coming in won't have to experience this crap that we went through dude awesome